Hello and welcome to Dynamic Disruptors. Here we are again. Good morning, Hello. Caroline. <laughs> Another <laughs> week of yes. wellness and great teachings. <laughs> We made it. We made it. So today's topic, well, let's just jump right into this. Uh, there's so much around this that just kind of came through and just a lot of what was kind of coming up around the conversations I'm having with clients and, and uh, a lot of people. So today's topic being effortless excellence, and it's really about sustainability and creating a, a sustainable, we'll say high performance, uh, lifestyle, right? Those of you who are extremely conscious, those of you who really prioritize your your energy and your practice. And yeah, I think that we all agree, right? That the desire is to really move with in the world aligned with our highest timelines and experience this kind of effortless creation, right? But this doesn't mean that we're not necessarily working or taking action in some way, but the actions that we take uh, don't actually feel like work and, and adding things onto our plate, if that makes sense. So uh, yeah, Caroline, any, any, yeah. And what are your thoughts around this today? I like every action that doesn't require, that doesn't look like work. <laughs> I think that's a great one, <laughs> but to be a little bit more serious on that, yes, I think um, disruptor and entrepreneurs um, need to focus on the on practices that promote growth and efficiency, and without requiring the unsustainable amount of energy and efforts. Uh, I know we have uh, lots of books and lots of teachings and lots of things that come to us to be more sustainable in our practices, but it can lead to uh, lots of exhaustions and, and at the end of the day to a de decreased uh, productivity. And I think over time, this is what's happening. So those practices must be balanced into our life so we don't fall into the trap of trying to be in a high vibe all the time you know, this mindset of achieving, being the big achiever that totally exhausts us. Yeah, 1000%. Uh, I love that when you talk about balance, for me, I always think about it like it's like a dance, you know, um, and I've noticed that uh, when people begin a, a transformational process or they want to, you know, improve in some way that they end up trying to add more things to their plate or think that they need to add more things to their plate. Like I should learn this modality. I have to wake up at four AM and meditate. I have to energy management. I know, but we had this, you know, chat before this live and just around, I, I actually don't like energy management. I don't even like to say like, oh, I'm protecting my energy. There's something in there that actually is kind of, there's a, a friction in there that um, management means that like you're holding something, right? And if you are a visionary and you're creating big things or you're leaders of, you know, a company or a team, you don't want to be holding more, right? You want like the energy of expansion and effortlessness in that sense. And so there's kind of like this energetic confusion around, um, yeah, this transformational process needing to have more or add more when actually what we really want is, um, yeah, a very smooth experience experience of, um, you know, magnetism, allowing things to kind of come to us and not adding tons of things to our plate, right? So energy management means you're managing something, effort, um, and doing something that isn't quite natural for you. And once again, we we're talking about it doesn't mean you don't do the deep work. But like you said, Caroline, the idea that we have to be high vibe, or we have to track every thought, or we have to track every emotion, that we experience, right? Doesn't that feel exhausting? <laughs> that it literally feels exhausting. <laughs> it's exhausting just saying it. It feels exhausting. Yeah, yeah. But, but this is, I think, a lot of people feel um, or misunderstand or just, you know, think that this is the way it needs to be. And of course, we're coming in here uh, disrupting that paradigm because 
I want you to just like feel this in your body, right? The immediate judgment of something like, oh, I, there's something broken. I need to fix it or I need to add something to it, right? So when we're going back to the sustainable um, aspect is really how you craft your business, how you craft your life for the biggest impact and the most efficiency and number one, the most joy. Like, why are we, why are we doing this anyway? Right? <laughs> yeah, definitely. I think you're yeah. very, very right on that. Uh, and it's very important to integrate these new activities in a way that feels natural or supportive instead of rather than being obligatory. If you fit that yeah. in a, in a tight schedule, it's going to be another layer of, of stress, uh, of being overwhelmed and this execution of new tasks can lead to what I call the wellness burnout. So yeah. if you want to feel uh, having your meditation in the morning and then drink this and then do some reading and do some, etc. but it's overwhelming. It's just too many activities. It creates actually more stress. And there's a feeling of inadequacy that comes with it. You, you can't really yeah. fit anything anywhere. So what is supposed to help you actually is counterproductive because you don't fit it properly into your natural system. And um, you need, I think entrepreneurs from this perspective need to reduce the mental load. They need to turn this self-care into the balance, into more sustainable routine, instead of putting this in, a, in their rigid schedule. And otherwise it loses totally its uh, effectiveness. And, and then yeah. it's very counterproductive. So the joy you, you're talking about, it, it seems to be a, a distant narrative for an entrepreneur, but I think you need to integrate that as well. If you integrate new, practices that is supposed to support your well-being and your wellness don't make it something that increase your burnout yeah <laughs> amen yes i love that it's it's that idea of the obligatory like you said where we think right that um we have a, some kind of idea of success idea of even just um wellness or what that looks like and we often try and fit into that construct whereas what what essentially you were saying is like really the heart of the work that i do as well is um creating from your own unique blueprint right so i used to wake up for instance i used to wake up at four in the morning and um and meditate for a long time and i'm just going to be real honest i am not a morning person and it <laughs> i'm willing to do the work um, but yeah, it just, you know, I kept pushing myself and pushing myself to do it this one way because I was told four in the morning is this magical time and the gurus wake up, you know, and once I shred literally all of that, being able to, uh, create a, um, a spaciousness in my own calendar, the way I get to, you know, run my business and, um, my own practice was like, it, it was mind blowing because so many people they'll come to me later and they'll realize like, wait, this, this gets to be this easy. Like, that's okay. So we've like removed that layer of self-judgment of no, actually you can do it your way. And I think, um, our, uh, you know, collaboration here is really about adding this, this beautiful layer of a, a sustainable practice, you know, where you can have promises essentially that you can actually keep to yourself. <laughs> right. And that is, that just fuels the, um, the, the, really the power and your, your own command over your reality, instead of, you know, trying to fit in some kind of, um, spiritual metaphysical wellness, a box that we think that we need to adhere to. Yeah, I, I do. I totally agree with you. I think that's very, that's something very important to, um, to, I say ingest all the time. This, but this word for me means a process that yeah. you take things that yeah. are not really into your menu or your, what you used to, to, to have, but you need to process it in a different way. So it becomes something that nourishes you. So that's why I use a lot the, the word ingesting this new type of 
sustainable practices. And, and the balance approach is also very important. You need to work, you need to work on the balance between your work and your wellness. So it doesn't drain your energy and you, you don't feel overwhelmed. Um, and then you can keep this high vibe, but without feeling the pressure, the stress of doing yeah. something. Yeah, there's there's no maintenance, right? You're actually embodying the thing instead of trying <laughs> to create the thing, yeah. which is two totally different, yeah, um, frequencies. But there's two other things also that are, are to me very important. The first one is to listen to your body and your mind, and that's what you said. Mm -hmm. I'm not a morning person. I'm not either, but I've managed to yeah. adapt meditation practices and, and all the things in the gym and uh, all the things I need to do apart from my work uh, in my own schedule. And the, the other thing as well, which to me is also important is the importance of the environment. Where are you to reframe, redesign your schedule in your, in your work and your life ultimately? So we were talking about the, the villas last time and, yeah. and I, me, that's for one of the key component to say, okay, I need to step back. I need to have a high view of, of my life and, and remove some of the things that are not essential to rebalance with something that will ultimately will give me some balance and new habits that I need to integrate and will make, we provide some changes in your life. So the environment and the listening of your body and mind, I think, go together uh, in, in your practice and what you're, you're teaching to uh, um, disruptors and entrepreneurs. Yeah, absolutely. And I, and I think that, you know, it's the intentional. Um, when I think about my own creation and how I've always... What, what my goal has always been really is to have that spaciousness. And I think that's something that is really, um, you know, unfortunately lacking in just the, the constructs of how business and life are done. And, you know, I think that's part of our mission here too, is to disrupt that pattern and making time not only for you know, the deep reflection and the the support, right, to actually extract yourself and disrupt that day to day pattern. And so that you then can shift timelines way faster. So extracting you, um, placing you in a another part of the earth, <laughs> whether that's close to where you live now, or, you know, 1000s of miles away, but even just disrupting that that pattern in that way and extracting yourself from um, you know, your current environment is literally going to collapse time for you and create that beautiful spaciousness. And so it's not only just the intentional habits and ways of being, but the time that you create to um, create the spaciousness and decide spaciousness actually gets to be an integral part of your life. So our mission here essentially is really to bring that into your, your reality that um, this kind of extraction is part of something that that you do. So it's like this cyclical kind of reset, so that you're not um, waiting until the moment where you're, you know, at your wits end, <laughs> or you're at the end of the rope. This is a, a, a cyclical, you know, um, I would love to see this practice where, okay, every, you know, so many months, um, yeah, we go to have a reset in a beautiful villa. We get the deep support that we need. We, um, like you said, I love the word nourishment. I'm all about food too. So when we, when we talk about ingesting and like nourishment, that is it. Like you're nourishing not only, um, you know, your body and mind, but yeah, essentially your, your, your whole beingness and your spirit. I think that there's really something to be said about that. When you return, you break the pattern and you return turn, you're able to shift your timeline in a completely different direction and, and create more efficiency from that. So, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, I think that's, that's very important because we forget sometimes that there's another component that 
plug into the internet. It's, it's essential. I think we need this. Uh, but at the same time, there's one point in time, and I think you're right, uh, it can be regular, it can be one, one time, uh, we need to extract ourselves. And remember that our villas are worldwide, so it can be, as you said, close to you or a little bit more far away, so it can be used as more of a holiday thing. So you need to take that break and you know you're going to work on yourself at the same time. And the second thing is, don't forget as well that you can have wellness uh, services included. So you can have a masseur, you can have a, a yoga teacher, you can have a... Um, uh, you know, all these wellness uh, services that are included into your villa that helps you to elevate your teaching and say, I feel so good. I'm draining out all the stress, all the burnout feeling that I have to, to, in, to get the teaching in full. So as soon as they plug into your teaching, they, their mind is totally available to you. And there is no uh, cluster of things that prevent them from understanding everything you say. They open and they sponge your teaching. So the, the, to me, the that. Yeah. are very essential. Yeah, yeah, I, I love that. And yeah, so this is um, essentially, you know, our, our invite to our transformational uh, villa experience. This is where you can book a remote session with me and literally a luxury villa anywhere in the world to uh yeah to facilitate these things and a lot of people who work with me are it is intensive energetically and so being able to yeah have have a masseuse have a yoga teacher have a you know the private chef come in so that you're nourishing your body um this is this allows just incredible integration for the work to actually I'm also here about the sustainability in terms of the work, right? Having it stick. So a lot of people will get like the momentary aha, um, but in order for it to really sit and like actually be sustainable and stick in your body um, for lasting results, this is like that. Um, yeah, it's like an amplifier around this. So um, this is where we're trying to make this super easy for, for you. And even if you feel like, you know, we were talking about this last time, how amazing is it, right? To it doesn't mean you need to hop on a 10 hour flight, right? We can literally find anywhere in the world so a place, right? For for them to come in and uh yeah, just dis decide that okay, you know, somewhere close to home, I need a reset and to literally have a an extremely bespoke energetic and travel wellness experience uh within what did you say, Caroline? Within two weeks, you can book some, yeah. one of these experiences. Yeah, it can be very easy. Our system is live. And if you come from the U.S., we get a, a very good number of villas throughout the uh, the U.S. So you give us a call. We have a, a chat as well on WhatsApp that we've initiated. So it's very easy for clients to get hold of me and ask me some questions. And then yeah. we book live on the system. And then we manage the budget, the number of people, and the services and as soon as it's okay to go there's a click away for for booking <laughs> and then so amazing. Your... yeah I, I want to make it very easy because it, i don't so you know if you have a so important teaching coming from you it has to be super easy to put yourself in an environment uh that allows entrepreneurs and disruptors to to get this hundred percent, it's it's really important. You can't you can't have fifty percent of what you're saying just going one way and getting the other way. <laughs> yeah, it's ingested fully. And yes. as you talk about food, let's say I'm going a little bit beyond that because I think everyone now understood how easy it is to combine your teaching and and the villas. But remember that we have five senses. So when you go on a villa and you have a splendid food served to you and you have a masseur or a yoga teacher, all these senses are activated. So it's not only hearing what you're saying, it's just feeling it in your body and say, oh, I remember this dish 
when I had this session half an hour before, just before dinner, and it reminds me so and so. So can you imagine in the mind of, a, of an entrepreneur where you say, okay, get yourself out of your daily routine, the, 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 the stress and, and that you have, and then suddenly reset. Get high of you, reset, feel everything with your body because you are ready after that to tackle difficulties. Athletes do that. It's not only entrepreneurs. Yeah. Athletes do that. And to perform, look at the NFL. I'm looking, I'm watching lots of NFL matches. But <laughs> look, they just, they, they are in an environment where everything is around their sports, around competing, around winning, around being the best of the best. So for an entrepreneur, that's the same. You, you need to put yourself in this environment to to become the, the person you want to be. Uh, I love that. And we're just so on the same wavelength because when you're talking about, you know, the five senses, my work being like multidimensional, this is literally a multidimensional experience. Um, my work being, yes, in the private sessions and the mentorship and then in the, you know, energy, remote energy body work. And then now adding the actual senses of the villa, all of these things play together. So you're not just getting like one facet, right? You're getting these, um, a very bespoke uh, creation that is for, yeah, for your highest timeline. So I love how you brought that in because that is, that is really the crux of this experience and, and how powerful it, it can be. So, yeah, I think this, <laughs> uh, anything else that you wanted to add to this topic, I feel like we just covered so much in so little time. It's just amazing how we like shred space time on these things. <laughs> well, this is very powerful topics and, and to wrap it up, I think it's, it's a, a new combination of things that we, we, we try to put forward to help entrepreneurs. And, and the beauty of that is to see them transforming. Uh, you put lately uh, testimonials on LinkedIn and that, that's magic. When you see people coming forward and say, your teaching has been transformative. It's done something that I didn't expect it, was, it could do. So let's move towards this goal and, and yeah. the, the uh, the, the next goal for entrepreneurs to really unleash what they didn't expect to break the boundaries, to explore beyond what they think, what uh, is possible. Yes. Yes. All of that, all of that and more. I think we are at this point in time where we, we actually, we need this for visionary leaders. This is so essential to um, yeah, creating those high impact goals so that they can uh, do what they're here to do on the planet. So thank you, Caroline. This is so much fun. Uh, as always, reach out to us if uh, one of our bespoke experiences are resonating with you. If you'd like more information, uh, you can book a call. I will uh, put that link in the comment section of this event. So booking a call with Caroline, or of course you can reach out to me personally as well. And yeah, we'll see what we can, uh, what magic we can create for you. Fantastic. Leave a comment, give us a thumbs up and uh, we'll hear for you. Yeah, we'll see you next week. <laughs> see you. All right, take care. Thanks again.